Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of The Journeyman. If you did miss Friday's episode, please go and check it out. It was a long one. Um, in short, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine, I won't be angry at you. To summarise, we stayed at Leverkusen. We had offers, we didn't want to leave in the end. We didn't want to leave. I don't want to leave this beautiful club. <sighs> Roll the intro. It's gone pretty well in the in-between. Chelsea came in for a bid, so that was bitterly disappointing that they think I'd ever play for that club. Sorry, Prime. That was upsetting. But other than that, the league is going... It's going okay, considering how terribly it started. It's going okay. Let's watch Since You've Been Gone. International football kicked things off and we actually went into this game needing a win to secure our qualification for this summer's Euros and it was a tight game, we just couldn't break Hungary down and then Benedict Tony did it again. Our long shots this season have gone up another level, we really can hit them from range and that was a lovely goal. We doubled the lead late on to get it over the line, a happy moment you know, the Euros should be good, our first international tournament and we're just happy we can make it there. Schalke was up next and this was a frustrating game, early on hit the post, just couldn't break him down and then weird defensive mishap, very strange, they got a goal again, trying to go across, we just couldn't do it and then thankfully Kai Havertz of all people stepped up and he tried to dance and we're not playing that anymore. Warning, warning, this is a no, no break no, dancing no, Kai. zone. No dancing on this football pitch. 88th minute, we knew if we were to have any chance of a tighter race we couldn't afford to drop points, a fancy turn and a lovely finish. It's a bit too easy on this game. If you do a skill move near a defender, their brain just fries. First Champions League game of the season, we took on Basel, and you know, it was it was a pretty standard game. We went 1-0 up early on, I got subbed off. Happy days, what can go wrong? I'm just so, so, so sick of this. Not the start you want to your Champions League campaign, is it? Especially when we did so well in the competition last year. Hanover were up next, and Hanover are a team we always destroy. I think we scored a hat-trick against them last season. Went 1-0 up, early doors. Fabian again, proving himself a very good signing before a counter-attack. Speed, 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 and look at that. Right in the corner, you don't get a better finish than that. 2-0, not long into the second half, it was 3. Not long after that, guess what? It was 4. A nice fake shot to spin between 2, and we grabbed our second of the game. Dembele made it 5, we were relentless, 5-0, did it end like that? Of course it didn't, Benedict Tony wanted his hat-trick, a ball to the back post, a lovely leap, a lovely header, a 6-1 win in the end, absolutely beautiful stuff. Wolfsburg, a team we have always struggled against, and I don't know if Lucas Torreira was angry that my Fulham team beat his Watford team, but what a horrible tackle, and you can see, I wasn't letting the little weasel get away with that, getting right in his face, but I thought, let your football do the talking, a good assist for Isaac. Rarely scores, but showing up more and more this season. Dembele? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is with this guy in 1v1s. Another break from the counter. Torreira's trying to push me in like a little cockroach. I just elbow him away. One on one. Benedict Tony doesn't miss these. Coolly into the corner. Much like a cockroach, Wolfsburg, from experience, they just don't go away. They make it 2 1, and we were like, we're not having this. Leal, Barrow, good teamwork. Leal runs through, and guess what? He's making a phone call. He's dialing 0800 to tell the Bundesliga a title race is on. You didn't see at the end there as well, we did also draw to Man City in the Champions League. I sat out that game, so it's not going terribly there. In the league though, we are 5th. If you remember, this time last season we were around 10th, so we are actually improving weirdly enough. We are only 3 points off the top, Dortmund have won every game since dropping points. Them and Leipzig are going to be the front runners. Bayern have won 4 on the bounce. It's a pretty tight table. Today, it's only one game, and that's because it's a big one. We are up against RB Leipzig in second place. We win this, we overtake them. We lose it, we're five points behind them, which is a terrifying prospect already. We're just going to show you an international game. Wasn't picked. Was not picked. Was not... Anything to say, Mancini? Are you watching this? Yeah. Favancula. No, Favancula, you. No, you. What are you talking... Sorry about that. Sorry you had to see that. Big... Game, as I say, RB Leipzig, we did the double over them last season, we want to do it again. Short, sweet, simple answer. We want to beat RB Leipzig every single time we play them. A very strong lineup. we've stopped playing 
the 69 rated winger, which is fantastic. Paul Torres is still out, but I'm hoping he's back pretty soon. But yeah, it's all to play for, people. It's the big one. The b -b -b big one. Obviously, as you would have seen in the since we've been gone, and I think I used it on Friday as well, we do now have a green screen. Um, how my flat is currently set up, I play on a sofa. It would be very awkward to drape a green screen. So you'll see it for skits, but I won't use it for an actual background. Great news, I'm moving flat to a flat upstairs in this same building, but it has an office. So it's a big upgrade, and that office is pretty much going to turn into my YouTube crib, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Call it what you want. Give me a good name. What could FIFA Fella's YouTube studio be called? Whatever comment gets the most likes, I'll consider it. You don't have any power over me. Keep that in mind. But when we get that, we'll have a green screen on the wall, a proper background and stuff like that. It's exciting. What's more exciting? Winning the Bundesliga. But I guess moving to a new flat is realistic. Winning the Bundesliga doesn't feel realistic, especially if we lose today. It's a foggy day in Leverkusen. Let's do this. Match day seven. Oh my god. Long-term fans of the channel will know the number seven has haunted me for a long, long time now. This is big. This is a very, very big game. Through ball. Harry Winks trying to run onto it. Well done, Lingley. Me and Leipzig, obviously, second and third last season. They came in for me in the summer. Both teams will be wanting to push Dortmund a little bit harder this year. Both teams know a win today sets down a big bloody marker. Good football. Weird, weird football though. I don't think they quite meant to do it. Isaac, Dembele. We've made quite an interesting little attack lately, us three. We've absolutely destroyed some teams. That's good football. Near corner. Tony gets in there. 1-0. Early doors. We move the ball quick, us three, when we're on the same page. Not all the time. And Dembele misses a lot of one-on-ones. But guess what? If I'm the one finishing it off, nothing to worry about. It's a foggy day. Yeah, it's a foggy day. <laughs> what is going on? We're like a human centipede. We were hugging for about eight seconds there. Good football. Once I'm through, I'm often through. And it's a great finish. 1-0. Got 32 last season. Are we really going to break that? Free kicks are one of the most dangerous things on this game. The AI are very good at them. Ooh, ah, that's what I mean. Tony's on the line. Sounds like a really bad sitcom. Tony's on the line. And it would be about me uh, working on the Jubilee line. But I'd always injure my shoulder, wouldn't I? Ha, ha, ha. Focus on the game. What am I playing at? I'm talking about sitcoms, and I've said this is a massive game. He is keen to release the ball quickly. Isaac, well played. Go on, Isaac. The good thing about I Go on, he could score this. Oh, 2-0. What a finish. I was going to say, the good thing about Isaac is just like me. He's six foot four. So the, long the goal kicks that go to him, he finishes them off. And it's 2-0. Lovely stuff. We beat Leipzig 4-0 last season. 2-0 last season, we really seem to have their number, and it's proving once again today. Alexander Isaac, a fantastic finish. Macias, it's well played. Winks, Uwa, well done Lengle. Oh, it's lucky, it's very lucky. Uwa, side netting, a warning there. As you can see, I've dropped rather deep, but for the best, because we've got the ball. Isaac, good run, mate, very good run. Isaac plays it across, Fabian, it's 3-0 to Leverkusen, ah, it's a one game episode, I feel like I shouldn't show the Leipzig one next time, it's a foregone conclusion, lovely football, what a pass, what a finish, me and Fabian link up a lot, you could call us Cabian, or Phony, don't call me Phony, Benedict Phony, Benedict Phony, yeah, very funny, that was, that was, do you know who came up with that, someone in Malaysia, called Jake, isn't that mental, I'm sat here in England and I'm being bullied by someone in Malaysia. Fantastic. I love Malaysian people, by the way. I don't want that to be any way taken in a weird thing. I'm, I'm saying it's cool he's on the other side of the world. I'm not saying, like, how dare a Malaysian take the mick out of me. I don't know if I'll leave any of this in now. I've made myself too... I've panicked myself too much. I need to know what formation Leipzig play. Because is it just a case... Like, Hoffenheim, I think, whatever they play. And I guess it's more about their custom tactics and playstyle and stuff that's in the game. Whatever they play really counters us well. Whatever we play counters Leipzig like bloody Superman and Kryptonite. 3-0 at half-time to Leverkusen. Lewis, it's a ve I mean, look at that pass. He's taken down a satellite dish whilst he's played it. Lengley's been pushed off the ball a bit too easily. And Dombele, good turn. Well done by Senkei Undo. He doesn't play often, but he could have set up a counter-attack here. Kai Havertz gone straight through the middle. Me and Kai teaming up like the old times. 
What a finish. 4 nil. Our curve's gone up. We don't get many accomplishments these days because we've done most of them. It's to all of you. I love playing Leipzig. I'm going to show the Leipzig game every time so you guys actually think I'm good. Perfect. Finesse. Finish. Top bins. That's the two-piece, baby. Are we going to make this a full combo meal? We've got the chicken. Vegan. We've got the chips. Are oh, we going to get the soda to complete the combo and take home the match ball? Not sure if we've got any hat tricks at Fulham, but I think we're on three or four already at Leverkusen. We've certainly, it's a lot easier to score in this team than it was Monaco. And I think that's down to the formation. This is lovely football. Tony runs onto it. The curve just went up, and I think that might have taken effect mid bloody game. He runs over to the fans. If we can capture the Bundesliga for Leverkusen, we'll be a legend forever. Me and Kai have it. You love to see it. Things you love to see. It was superb, fast-flowing football. They couldn't keep up. And look at that bendy, wendy finish. 5-0 Leipzig playing some good football for the first time this game. And they just give it away. They don't offer much going forward and they leave big gaps at the back. A pleasure to play against. Five stars on Triple Advice. Look. If they score now, well, I've just done that. Yeah, that's annoying because I'll have to leave that noise in there. 5-1. I don't even think the journeyman could uh, any way ruin a 5-0 win. 5-1. Unless I get injured. Thank God. I am very, very glad I came on to record today. Wasn't going to record tonight. Jumped on for this one. And it looks like I made the right choice. Don't score again. Thank God. I thought it was in. 5-1. A demolition job of Leipzig. Let me see Benedict Tony. Goes over to the bloody referees union. Takes the ball. Waves to his people. Thank you very much. A convincing win by Leverkusen. I've said it many times. Do you want Leipzig's number? DM me because I've got it on bloody speed dial at this point. 5-1. Magnificent. Bayern dropped points for the first time in a while. So that's always good. Hoffenheim got a win. Dortmund got a win. And Hertha Berlin got a win. So, seven games in, as you can see, there is, it's a tight, tight title race, especially if Bayern get back into it, as you'd expect. We're certainly not out of it yet. Next time, we're not actually going to go too far into the future. Big games are coming up. You will see us play Dortmund, last year's winners, Hertha Berlin, the current leaders of the league, and St Pauli, a club who have a sausage train at their stadium in the cup. We want to win the cup this year. We want to go for everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, please comment, subscribe, let your friends know about the journeyman. It's something pretty fun, I think. Next episode will be on Tuesday. We'll probably go back to four videos next week because I'm shattered. You wouldn't believe it. Do I look tired? No, I look gorgeous, don't I? Thank you again for watching. Arriva Derche. Stay safe. again.